Hey everybody, I hope you have had a wonderful break and if you are still taking a break then keep enjoying it. But I wanted to shoot a video because I am sitting in my office and I haven't enjoyed have enjoyed a couple of weeks where <laughs> I really did nothing. I didn't answer any Facebook messages. Um, I I really I, I didn't even come in my office. I haven't looked at my calendar. I really haven't done much. We've had a lot of family in and today I dropped the girls off at Mother's Day Out and on my calendar today I have like three things to do and one of them is just to figure out my goals for the year. I keep seeing all these people on Facebook and Instagram and friends that I've just talked to talking about their word for the year or their goals for the year. You know, people are making resolutions and I'm like, ooh, I'm a little late to the game. You know, it's January 5th. I'm five days in and I have nothing. Um, and I've been thinking about it since before Christmas. What is it that I want this coming year to look like? And God, I just, I don't know. And I think part of it for me is a little bit of fear in that um, when I look at my goals for last year, I really did not meet all of them. Um, I got, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what the deal was, but it's a little scary when you don't meet the previous year's goals to set new goals because you think, ah, what if I don't, what if I don't hit them? What if I don't make them? Uh, what if nothing happens? It's a lot of pressure on me, so maybe I just won't do anything. Um, but really, like how many, how many quotes have you seen on goals? Like, you know, goal, uh, plans written down are just dreams. And when you, the things that you want if, if you look at the end of your life or if you look at the end of this year like and you have an idea of what you want it to look like, those are the things that you write down. You write down the steps, all the little steps that it'll take to get you there to the end idea that you have in mind. And so as I'm, look, I'm sitting here, I'm looking at my paper I've got written down and I really want to be able to enjoy life fully this year and I haven't really gotten it's just kind of like this big mess of words right now um, but I really want to focus on our family and on our house I feel like there's a lot left that we want to do as far as decorating goes and making it really um, comfortable and homey and I've if you've been following me on um, Facebook then you know that I've been doing that life-changing magic of tidying up um, that book that's that's kind of gotten to be a huge deal I've been doing that KonMari method and just purging things. And so that's huge. And I want to finish that up this year. And then I've also got to think about my business. And so I've kind of broken my list up into my family, my house and my business. And I don't know, it might change. But for right now, I've got several things written down for family, the way I want it to look as far as like family dates and meals together and church together and um, dating JP. And then I've got all these things for the house, obviously, that I want to get done. And then as I'm looking at my business, I'm thinking, I don't want it to be the same as every other year's goals, uh, especially last year if I didn't really reach them. <laughs> like, what are some things that I can do? And I started to get down to just thinking like, man, you know, like, I'll be honest, you guys, I don't think I'm going to earn the incentive trip, the Disney trip. And so, you know, like, that's kind of a disappointment. And it's totally on me. And I don't know. I'm just kind of like, ah, I want to do so much. And I'm so excited about Sensi and Velada. And I love them. And I want to share them with others. Um, but it's easy. And I don't know. Maybe you're in the same place as me. And that's the reason for this video. If you're there and you haven't come up with business goals yet, I want you to think about these things. So um, in church on Sunday, we got to hear from our one of our other pastors that we don't always hear from. His name is Sam Roberts. And I can send you a link to this awesome video if you want to watch it, but it's because it's recorded. But uh, the message was called Get Started. And I don't know where you are in, in different faith, but um, you've probably heard the story about Moses. So Moses was the one who was an Israelite and he ended up growing up in an, in an Egyptian household and he ran away, blah, blah, blah. But he's the one with the burning bush, you know, and God said to tell, the, to tell for him, for Moses to go tell Pharaoh, let the Israelites go, let my people go. Remember that story? You know, you've seen that movie, the Ten Commandments movie, where parts of the Red Sea and then the waters crash down on the, on the Egyptians. And okay, so that's Moses, right? So um, our pastor was just telling this story about just getting started. And he used the story of Moses and how Moses kept coming up with these excuses. But each time God just gave him an answer for why he had to do what he had to do. 
So here's a couple of points that I just thought were so good and so simple. The first is just start where you are. So your past is your past. Where you are is where you are. And let's just think solely with your business. So let's say you've been a consultant since 2010 and you've just kind of been coasting along, you know, sometimes having great months or great years and, and other months, you know, you've been up for cancellation, you know, every three months. Um, let's say you just got started and this fall was awesome, you know, like you are set up for a great year this year. Um, no matter where you are, um, just start where you are. Use your past experience. Um, use your past personally and let that give you confidence just to do it just to get started no matter where you are in your sense you have a lot of journey just start um, and then the next is he says use what you have so um, so for Moses it was like Moses was a shepherd at the time and so he had this staff that he would like use for prodding sheep and God used that and he like told Moses to lay it down and it turned into a snake or that staff is what actually like parted the Red Sea or whatever. So he was saying, use what you have. So what is in your hands? So do you work another job besides having your Cincy and Velada business? Then you use that to network with people and get out, get out, um, <coughs> get out and talk about your extra business that you have. Um, maybe you've got kids and sometimes it seems like kids make it even harder. Well, use your kids and their activities um, or them going to school, or like for me, like my kids going to Mother's Day out, use that as a time. Every day at drop off and pick up when I see teachers or parents, other parents, like use that time for networking, getting to know people, bringing up my business and what it is that I'm doing and handing out samples and all that kind of thing. So use what you have. Maybe you're really good at um, online stuff. Just you have an online presence. You've got a lot of Facebook friends. Maybe you've done a lot of games or whatever. Use that to your advantage. Um, especially if you're someone who I know a lot of people now, um, some people don't get out as much, but you, you are, you're at your computer all the time or you've got your phone in your hands. Use that. Um, you know, you can do Facebook parties or I was thinking with Velada, maybe you really, you're great at cooking and you're just realizing like, oh, not everybody's like this. Not everybody cooks this much. Well, use that to your advantage. Post pictures of your food. Make videos of you creating recipes and share those with people just to spread your name and create <laughs> an audience to where people are following you. So use what you have, no matter where you are, start where you are and just Use what you have. Use who you are. And then last is just do what you can. So maybe you are afraid of overcommitting. Well, do what you can. Like post a picture today of the Bring Back My Bars. Um, I made a video just now. You might have seen it. I made a video of my favorite Bring Back My Bar, my top threes this month. If you are just too scared and you do not want to make a video or if you don't have makeup on today, then... Um, Post a picture of your top three favorite scents, and if you don't have these, you do what you can, and you just like maybe get a piece of paper, and you write really big on that paper the names of your top three scents, and just say like, this is it, just something attention getting, hey kitty, no, just kind of attention getting, saying like, these are my favorites, or post a picture of that cute lovey, the Scentsy Buddy, or um, post a picture of the new uh, Meltables that are out for Velada. so you do what you can. And every day you post something. Every day you mention your business to somebody. Every day you hand out a sample or a catalog or something. And I have to say, like, I think that's part of what happened to me this last fall was that um, I just got away from handing out my samples and catalogs. And I don't know what the deal was, but it just happened. And those things are so important. And if you're not thinking ahead to, you know, sticking that stuff in your car or in your purse or whatever... Um, then maybe you need to really start with, with your heart and your passion. And are you really excited about this? And do you really love this? Do you want to share this with people? Then remember to put your things to where you have access to them, to be able to give them out to people. Um, and remember that even if you're just doing one small thing every single day, stop. <laughs> even if you're just doing like one small thing every single day, you are doing more than the people who are doing nothing. Um, so what is that? There's a, there's something that was said about runners, you know, where, you know, you may be really slow, but Hey, you are lapping the people who are just sitting on the couch. Those people who are just sitting there, not doing nothing. You are lapping them. You are doing more than them. And, um, you'll be rewarded for that. I think that you'll see that really 
if you just do something every day, you're going to find some, some great results. So that's all I have to say. Just start wherever you are, no matter where you are in your journey, what's happened in the past or even this past year. Um, just start where you are. Use, um, use what you have. Use who you are, like your resources, um, the networks that you have around you, and then just start. Do what you can. So I hope that helps. Um, now I'm going to sit back and I'm really going to work on finishing up my... I'm going to work on finishing up my goals and hopefully I'll be shooting another video or we'll talk about this during our next team meeting. But I want to share with you what I come up with. Um, I know I'm going to try to be doing a lot more as far as connecting with people because I think that's really important. And... Um, Anyway, this video has gotten a little bit too long, but I hope you've watched it through to the end. Thank you if you have. And um, if you have any questions about setting your goals, let me know and maybe I can help. And I would love to hear your goals. So if you have watched all the way through to the end and you've got some personal or business goals that you want to share, then we would love to hear that. So please comment and let us know what they are. Bye, guys.